one side of a square is inclined to the x-axis at any angle at one of its extremes is at the origin. If the side of a square is 4 units, find the equation of the diagonals of a square. Now in this question, it sounds that we are given less information and we have to find more. But by carefully reading it, you can make the diagram and hence you can find the equations of the diagonals of this square using the same information. One side of a square is inclined to the x-axis at any angle and one of its uh, vertices is at origin. So we can make the diagram and at the same time the size of or the length of each side of a square is 4 units. So let's make the diagram. Well, this could be the diagram. This is say the x y axis and this is the x axis and the square is something like this. So we are assuming that the angle it is making with the x axis is alpha and these are the two diagonals. So if I take this as O and this as A and B and C, so the target is to find the equations of uh, OB, that is a first diagonal, D1, and also the equation of CA. This is diagonal 2. Now, well, we know that the diagonals are at 90 degrees. So this will be 45. This will be pi by 4. Now, drop a perpendicular and take it as A dash. So can you find the coordinates of A? Well, because OA is equal to o, OC is equal to AB is equal to BC is equal to 4 units. Therefore, please be careful. Using the triangle OAA dash, I can find cos alpha, which is OA dash by OA, and OA dash is OA cos alpha, which is 4 cos alpha. Similarly, we can find AA dash and AA dash will be 4 sin alpha. But why we are finding this? This is uh, to find the coordinates of A and now we have the coordinates of A which is 4 cos alpha comma 4 sin alpha. Now, this is very important that now we have the coordinates of A which are 4 cos alpha is the x component and 4 sin alpha is the y component. Now, we leave it here and we move on to the slope of a line, rather slope of a diagonal OB. So the diagonal OB is making a slope of tan alpha plus pi by 4, 40 degree. Because the angle between the diagonal and the side will be 45 degree. So we can also write it like this because we are simply adding up the angles. Now, leaving the coordinates of A there, now we are moving on to the slope of diagonal OB. So since the diagonal OB is making the angle of pi by 4 with that inclined line, if you remember that inclined line is OA, so the slope of OB will be tan pi by 4 plus alpha. And because the diagonal is, because OB is passing through, obviously because it's OB, so O is the point which is origin, OB is passing through 0 comma 0 so its equation will be using one point form its equation will be
there are various methods instead of breaking tan to sine by cos one could open uh, tan a plus b using tan a plus tan b and now this is cos a plus b which is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b times of y and this is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b into x so now this is So the equation of diagonal OB is minus or any other arrangement which is valid in straight lines. Now coming on to another diagonal and if the slope of, because the slope of diagonal OB is tan pi by 4 plus alpha, therefore the slope of diagonal AC is minus 1 upon tan pi by 4 plus alpha, which is uh, minus cot pi by 4 plus alpha. And using point A, if you remember point A, what is point A? It is 4 cos alpha comma 4 sine alpha. Again, we can use a one point form and we can apply the equation. because sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is got a zero. So this is the equation. Therefore, equation of diagonal, another diagonal, AC is uh, x cos alpha minus sine alpha plus y times of cos alpha plus sine alpha minus four is equal to zero. Thank you. Keep watching videos, subscribe and share.